In this video, I'm going to tell you about a cybersecurity tool that is going to change the way you monitor your Windows, Mac or Linux PCs. This tool is called Vase and we are going to install it on Linode and see it in action. This is a free cybersecurity tool and you can monitor your PCs right from your dashboard. Let's move on to a computer screen and let's get started. So as you can see, I'm inside my Akamai manager and I'm going to create a new machine. Now the best part about using this to create a machine is that you can go to marketplace and you can simply type Vase and you will get your application in a matter of few clicks. So as you can see, I've selected Vase. I'm going to skip all these advanced options set up and I'm going to select Ubuntu 22, which is going to be the default. Select a region. You can select region nearest to you, but I'm going to select Washington DC and again, shared CPU and let's select Linode 4GB. Now here's an important thing. You cannot select Linode 2GB or Nanode 1GB because Vase is not going to run on Linode 2GB or Nanode 1GB. If you are going to monitor a lot of computers, you need to select even higher plan because if you are going to monitor a lot of PCs, your RAM and CPU is going to be consumed even more. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm selecting Linode 4GB and you can give Linode a label. We can keep it exactly same was a USIED and let's select a root password. I'm going to select a simple root password for the sake of this tutorial. But if you are going to do anything complex or serious, you need to make sure that your root password is secured. Okay, let's hit create Linode and your Linode will start to provision and your Vase will start to install. But we have got a problem here. It says that this email is required. Let's call it Harry at codewithary.com. You can punch in your email because this is a required field. Okay. Now I'll simply click create Linode and my Linode will provision first. It will boot up and then Vase will be installed. So make sure that you give it some time. And if you want to see the live progress, you can always see it by launching the Lish console, which will give you live updates of what is happening in your server. So if you want to make sure that you know what is happening in your server, simply you can look at Linode Lish console, but I'm going to take a coffee break and I'll be back after everything is set up and we'll go from there. So as you can see that this has finished installing on my PC. Now I can simply go to my terminal and SSH into this machine. So let's copy this and I'm going to SSH into this machine and it's going to ask me for my password. And yeah, we are inside Ubuntu. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So as you can see that this is the machine we are inside and this is our Linux server. We have Vase installed. Now you must be wondering how do we get the admin password for Vase? I'll tell you how to get admin password of Vase, but before that you will have to go to your network and you'll have to get the link to your dashboard, which is this reverse DNS. Copy this and paste it here and make sure to put HTTPS colon double slash. This step is really very important. You are not going to see the login screen of the dashboard until you punch in HTTPS. Now let's press enter and let's wait for was it to load up. And yes, it will ask you for admin password. So we'll go here and simply type ls minus lart to list the directory content. And you'll see this file called deployment secrets.txt. We are going to open it using Vim and I pressed tab key to auto complete the name, press enter and this is our admin password. So the username is admin and this is the password. So let's go back to Chrome. Admin is the username and this is the password. And now I can log into my Vase dashboard as you can see. Now I can simply add an agent and what does adding an agent mean? Let me tell you. We can simply add this machine to be monitored by Vase. Now, where is Vase installed? It is installed on this server, on this Linode machine. And this machine is called a manager. So this machine is managing all the machines that are coming under it. Let's click on add agent and I'm going to tell it what operating system I'm using. Now it's asking for my operating system. I'll say Windows and I'll say Windows 7 plus. Does anybody use XP these days? I'm not sure, but uh, let's select the architecture as uh, this one and let's select the Vase address. I'm going to copy this fully qualified domain name and let's paste it here. And it says assign the agent name. I'll call it Windows. I'll choose a default group. These are optional settings. So even if you are not assigning an agent name and even if you are not assigning a group to this agent, that should be fine. Now 
it, it is saying that if the installer finds another was agent in the system it will prevent okay now these are the two commands that you need to run to start the agent and install the agent so we'll install the agent using this command on my windows pc so i'll go to my windows pc and execute this command followed by this command and my windows pc will then be able to send information to this server this Linode server so let's go to my windows machine and we'll install waze using these two commands so i'm inside my windows machine and all i need to do right now is run these two commands the first one is this and the second one is to start the waze agent which is this and that's it your waze service is running so i've added this command to my windows terminal you need to make one thing sure that you are running windows terminal with admin privileges otherwise this is not going to work so let's go to waze home now and let's see if our agent has been added so i just opened waze home and looks like it is detecting the agent which i just added to my windows and yes it says active so let's look at this agent it, it's telling me it's a windows 11 home single language let's open this agent now you can add further more agents simply by going to uh, agents and add agent. So th there's an option to add an agent here. So deploy new agent will help you deploy new agent and you can deploy as, as many agents as your machine bandwidth allows. Your machine should have enough RAM and compute power. Now let's open this and let's see that what kind of security, vulnerabilities, compliances and problems was it can detect for you. As you can see here, it is detecting some Mitre attacks. So Mitre is basically some ways which are known to hackers and they have been used by hackers since a very long period of time. So these are some of the vulnerabilities that my Windows machine might be vulnerable to. So you might want to go ahead and fix these. Now there is a compliance certification, PCI, GDPR, NIST. If you are not compliant, it will tell you that your security is not good enough and you can even change the certification if you want to see if you are compliant with GDPR you can see uh, and you can see with the HIPAA as well and so on now you can open these latest scan reports which are really very important and this will tell you what kind of problems your windows machine might have now my machine has passed 130 tests 261 are failed let's see which of these 261 tests are failed now, as you can see in force password is trace set to 24 or more password. Now I might be a noob and I might not understand what exactly this is. Waze has got you covered. The best thing about open source tools is that you can always trust open source tools. Why so? Because you can see the code and people will report if there is any problem with open source softwares. Now, since people can view the code of open source softwares, Waze is one of the open source softwares. They can actually tell if there is any problem with data privacy and protection. So your data is safe with Waze. You are using this server and the data from your Windows or Mac machine or any agent is going to the server and it is showing in the form of this report, okay? Now, if you want to go ahead and see what exactly this is, what is the rational behind this, you can see it is telling me in layman terms. The longer a user uses the same password, the greater the chance that an attacker can determine the password through brute force attacks. Now, this is clear to anybody who has used computers and it is telling me that this is how you can check for this and this is how you can fix this. How awesome is that? And if you are a beginner who wants to make career in cybersecurity, you have ample of learning opportunities here. Amazing, right? So all these things can be drilled down and you can look into the rational, learn something new, fix this, and you are going to find yourself learning a lot of cybersecurity. So this is how Waze works. You can always go back to agent and you can start looking into the reports. Now, the longer the Waze has been installed into your computer, uh, more and more vulnerabilities and events and scans it will detect. So any event your machine is encountering will be visible here and you will be able to monitor this PC or several of different machines from this Waze dashboard. How awesome is that? An ample of opportunities to learn cybersecurity as well. I hope you like this tool. Waze documentation is really great and I urge all of you to go to the Waze documentation, learn something new and see what kind of vulnerabilities, attacks and cybersecurity things it can detect for you. You can even manage more than one machine. So you can try that by going to 
agents and adding another agent you can add as many agents as you want as i told you as long as your machine is capable of handling your machine should have enough ram and cpu compute power to be able to handle this so i hope you like this video let me know what you think about this tool in the comment section below thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time